Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about whether you can really build your own USB-C iPhone. Let's head into it. How Apple controls by using a lightning port. The European Commission shook the iPhone world to its roots this week, announcing a new policy that would require all smartphones to adopt a USB-C port for physical charging in an effort to reduce e-waste. Apple of course doesn't offer a USB-C iPhone, having argued to the European Commission. In the past, that legislation would have a direct negative impact by disrupting the hundreds of millions of active devices and accessories used by our European customers and even more Apple customers worldwide, creating an unprecedented volume of electronic waste and greatly inconveniencing users. Switching to USB-C, Apple says, would actually be more wasteful than sticking with Lightning since customers would need new cables and adapters, despite the fact that Apple already offers USB-C ports on its iPads and its MacBooks and has managed to switch over those popular products without major issues or customer revolts. Notably absent from Apple's argument though is the fact that cutting out a Lightning port on an iPhone would just create more e-waste if you buy Apple logic or inconvenience its customers. It also means that Apple would lose out on a revenue it makes from every lightning cable and accessory that works on the iPhone, Apple made or not. Along with the control, it has over what kinds of hardware does or doesn't get to exist with the iPhone and which companies get to make them. Apple's MFI program means that if you want to plug anything into an iPhone, be it charger or adapter or accessory, you have to go through Apple and Apple takes a cut of every one of these devices too. Want to connect an external display? You'll need an Apple approved adapter, import photos or videos from an SD card or flash drive, an Apple approved adapter, want to use a DAC to take advantage of Apple Music's new high risk lossless audio. Again, you'll either need an MFI device or an Apple approved USB dongle. The same, of course, isn't true of Apple's USB C based devices, which have a robust ecosystem that can broadly be defined as virtually every product that uses USB C. With a USB C iPad, you can simply plug in flash drives and keyboards and displays in any number of useful additions that makes those devices better. Apple even made a point of that fact during its latest keynote when announcing the new iPad mini. And of course, USB-C iPads can be charged by any standard USB-C cable that's capable of putting out enough wattage. There is a small gap in between the battery and the Taptic engine. It runs through the whole width of the iPhone. The Student's Project Robotics engineering student Ken Pillanil wowed the internet last month with a wild hack that managed to put a working USB-C port inside an iPhone X for a fully functional USB-C iPhone. And now, he has published a far more detailed video showing just how he managed to pull off the hack, along with a GitHub repository with technical details, CNC instructions, and information on the custom PCB that he designed for anyone brave enough to try and put together a similar hack. A 13-minute long video shows the nitty-gritty of Pillanil's mod, which is simple and theory, combining a lightning to USB-C connection together in a daisy chain to mimic a proper USB-C port. The video shows off virtually the whole development process. It's quite a journey, going from proof of concept prototypes and eventually reverse engineering a fake lightning connector, ordering a custom flexible circle board, and machining the iPhone's case to fit the physically larger USB-C connector. The video also shows off just how difficult it is to fit the extra circuitry, with the board bending around both sides of Apple's Taptic Engine hardware to squeeze all the necessary components. He's also auctioning off his prototype on eBay, where bidding has already reached $3,400 as of the time of publishing this piece. For anyone with deep pockets that's interested in a USB-C iPhone of their own, he does know that whoever does buy the iPhone shouldn't restore, update, or erase, open it, or use it as a daily phone. Lastly, Pillanil has made the whole project open source so that others can build on its existing work, whether that's making more custom USB-C iPhone X models or porting the design to other iPhones down the line. Although the full PCB design won't be posted until after the auction finished. He also knows that he plans to continue to build on the design, with goals for improving fast charging, waterproofing, and even enabling USB-C accessories. After completing the build and having it featured all across the internet, Pillanel listed the USB-C iPhone X auction over on eBay. While well, he started just asking for $1, it's now sitting at a whopping $100,100, with 6 more dates to go. And then it bends 90 degrees again to bring the USB-C connector to the correct spot. I close the iPhone, the project is done. Done. Would you like your iPhone to have a USB-C port? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.